Hey you guys, it's your girl Simply Anna, and I'm back with another one. Okay, in this particular clip, Nature Boy is talking about how the system is corrupt. Yes, okay, so uh, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and make a comment down below. I'm gonna drop this one here, and I'll get another one ready and put it out here in a few minutes. Until the next one, you guys, stay blessed. You gotta understand, you gotta understand I was blind side of my home. His own blind side. I didn't even know why I was being arrested from the beginning. I didn't know nothing until we, until we got there. They had arrested everybody and then brought everybody in. And they didn't even question nobody that was in the house the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole, it's, it's the whole crazy thing is, you know, police be at my door every day. Every single day, all day. Pizza and police be at my door. What I look like committing a crime like that, you feel me? In my house, yeah. holding a motherfucker hostage in my house, right, where the police is telling every day. And then after she so-called get away or something, right, so-called allegedly escapes, I stay in the house and wait for the police. Come on, man. What do I look like just sitting in the house going live a week later, two weeks later, sitting in the house after I so-called commit a crime in my own home with all these people live on television? And then what do I look like sitting there and waiting for police to come get me. That's how corrupt this shit was. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting there blindsided by the whole thing. They're not getting there. The detectives, they just come in on some real creepy shit. Like, yeah, so, uh, you know, she says she says you raped her. I'm like, what? Nigga, you all tripping. What you mean I raped her? You feel like, yeah, she said that you. I'm like, okay, so she said that. What that mean? You're like, well, you know, we're, we're, we're charging you with rape. I'm like, what? So, fuck. So, mm. so, so you could just charge me because she said I did it? I'm like, wait a minute, what the mm. fuck? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And then he's like telling me to come on, just bail out. Come on, come on, come on. It's real creepy. Like, it was real cool. I tell you shit, like, come on, come on. Uh, come on, like, they had the officer come get me. Come on, just real quick. Like, I'm like, wait, hold on. What? Y'all can lock me up because she just said I did that? You know how many women could just say because they don't like a man that he, he just raped them and that's it? And so... You know, I'm blocked out about that. I get, uh, I get in the um, the car. They take me up. I'm like, at first, I'm like, you know what? This is joke. <laughs> this is joke. That's why you heard me say I was standing yeah. on my first year. Uh -huh. <laughs> Literally laughing at this shit in my head. Like, all right, they gonna find out this is some bullshit. I'm gonna get out, and this is gonna be yeah. like anything else I've been arrested for. You know what I mean? Because I've been arrested for like, you know, false accusations before. Then they right. got bond hearings when I'm not even there. Two, three of my bond hearings, I'm, they ain't even let me come out myself. You see what I'm saying? Mm. What you saying? No, I'm listening. We we listening. I'm agreeing so, with what, you. They ain't even let me go to the bond hearings. I just put on the public defender. They, got, they have public defenders for me. Mind you, I'm in quarantine. They put you in quarantine at first. You feel me? So then they take me out. They're like, yeah, we can't put you with population. We got to put you in protective custody. Because of the high profile, because of who you are. I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, all right, cool. Then, then at the end of the day, I, I go to these hearings. I'm trying to get a lawyer. My first lawyer messes up my preliminary hearing. He's supposed to have played the video of her saying we made love at the preliminary hearing. And my shit would have been dropped from there. That, But he was working with the DA. There's all kind of corruption in this shit. Like, the lawyer we hired... Once they find out the lawyer I got, they try to like, you know what I'm saying? When so nature, the into saying the wrong so nature thing, boy. Up, the lawyer start acting on weird stuff. Huh? Can he hear me? Yeah. Okay, so nature boy, let me ask you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. so, uh, okay, so what was the reason that they gave you to why they couldn't play the interview? Why they couldn't play her, her part, her saying that y'all made love? What was the reason? Yeah. You know, you, you know what, if the lawyer, because, you know, I, ain't, I don't be in this kind of situation. This is a brand new situation for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm 39, 40 years old now. You feel me? No criminal history as far as felonies. I got misdemeanors on my record. You feel me? And then all of a sudden, they're like, yo. Right. Um, they hit me with this. So the lawyer that I had the first time, Khalil Edie, he said, don't play the video until trial. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, don't, don't say that for trial. I'm like. Not knowing what's going on, like I'm like that ain't feel right. I'm like, man, play that video for these folks to give me a body. Right. He held on to the video. 
he did the preliminary hearing where it could have got dropped and everything. The charge could have got dropped right there, but he did the preliminary hearing wrong, and then boom, my shit jammed up from there. You see what I'm saying? So now I'm sitting up there here, they deny my bond. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how do you deny a bond with somebody that never had a felony? There's people out here with murder charges that got $500,000 bonds, half a million dollar bonds. I mean, you could have gave me a half a million dollar bond. You deny me bond altogether. It's not like the group that I'm with is some gang gang members that commit crimes and, and, are, and, are, and are vicious and that kill people or something. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is you're talking about carbonation here. You feel what I'm saying? These guys are not violent. You know what I mean? Like, why are you trying to make it seem like I'm a threat to society with the people that I'm with? Like, they're violent people. Like, they commit crimes. Like, the people that I was with are known to commit crimes or something. Like, they do hate crimes or something. You feel me? Like, I'm a gang member or something, a gang leader. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, I ain't even no cult leader for anyone. So they, so they did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like that, they, then you know, stuff start coming out. Everybody start turning on me. I'm in here, shit hurting. Like you see me, I need to sell money. Niggas turning on me. But you know, I had to sit in here feel that. I had to sit in here and hear my daughter uh, calling Solar Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Like I sat up in here, you feel me? I had to hear this shit. My own daughter, not knowing that she looking for her, her dad. You feel me? She looking for me, but she she don't know. So she calling daddy, these, these niggas daddy and shit, you feel me? I'm hearing this shit, and, and the niggas turning on me, I'm like, 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 I don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't take these niggas into my life. They put make problems into my life, issues in my life, and unpack their shit, and I was literally the butt end of it, trying to help them being their OG. But at the end of the day, like I said, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm not mad at nobody, though. I don't hold nothing against, I don't got no vengeance toward nobody, I don't got nothing against nobody because that's not what my heart is on. You feel me? All I want the people to know, I want the people to know that I'm innocent. I want y'all to know it's corrupt. I want y'all to see how this system do us black men and how they do people once they get away and they start teaching knowledge themselves. When you really tap in, when you really tap in, you have one real, minute left. All right, so I got to I gotta call y'all back. My 20 minutes is up. I got I get 20 minute interviews and in intervals, you know what I'm saying, on my calls. If y'all know about security, you know what time it is. I got to call right back. Um, okay. Shout out to my, shout out to my, my beautiful family. They've been there for me, riding with me the whole time. You feel me? 